Hey everyone, Aloha here with some thoughts as you are wrapping up. Uh, first of all, if you need more time to finish, that is no problem. Take your time. Uh, time is a construct at this point anyway. Uh, second of all, we wanted to reiterate something that has come up a few times throughout the past two weeks, and that is um, that course design, online course design, is really a process that happens over time. Uh, it's not something that you're going to perfectly figure out uh, right now. And I really wish I could tell you exactly how to design your course uh, and teach your course so that it would work perfectly and everybody would succeed and everybody would be happy. Uh, but unfortunately, I cannot do that right now. Um, even the most experienced online teachers and designers right now uh, they may never have tried to teach online through a global pandemic, through shelter-in-place orders. Um, they may never have taught online in a situation where students are not really self-selecting to take an online course. Um, online is the only option. So um, it's kind of an unpredictable time. And so what can we do? We can do the best we have with what we have. And what we have is research and effective practices that have been developed by um, experts, practitioners over time who've been doing it uh, over the past decade or more, right? And so that's what you've been seeing a lot of in this training. And you're going to need to combine that with your own expertise and your own knowledge of your discipline, of your class, of your students, um, and your own teaching style. And so you're gonna combine both of those things to figure out what is best, um, to make your best guess at what is best for your class. And um, the third thing to consider are the time constraints. So normally, you know, you wouldn't have two days to design an online class or two weeks or two months. None of that is really enough time. So uh, we're operating under constraints and under unpredictable uh, circumstances. So. Um, remember that grace and that flexibility that we asked you to extend to your students during this time? Well, we want you to extend that to yourself as well. Please, you're doing the best you can and you're doing an amazing job. Um, oh, and the last thing, okay, the worst thing that could happen is that something doesn't work. It's not working in your class, right? That's okay, you can change, you can change it. Um, so the best way to, to realize that something's not working is to listen to your students. So, um, you know, whether that's paying attention to people not being engaged, to people not submitting work, to not showing up to your uh, sessions if you're offering them, um, or you can ask them. Just ask your students how it's going. Um, and if you can, make it an anonymous survey so that they feel comfortable responding. Similar to the survey that we um, had you all do this week, which has been very helpful for us. Okay, uh, have fun with your design work and uh, ask, ask us if you have any questions. Okay, bye.